What's going on there guys? Good evening. The Earth Master here on this Sunday, April 3rd, 2022, about uh, 6 10 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 2.9 over here around the uh, Mediterranean area. A little bit of movement kicking up here. Let's go ahead and check out the latest data here from the USGS. Uh, and hopefully they have data on the map, right? This is 2.5 and above. Just refreshing this just to make sure everything's uh, dandy, which it is. A little bit of spotty activity around the globe today, around the flat scale map. Some movement in our areas that we have been watching for a little while up around Taiwan and the Philippines area. I've seen uh, quite a few fours kick up here over the course of the day. Also, there's that uh, little, little bit of movement in Afghanistan. Some deeper activity there, 201 kilometers for that uh, 4.3 in the area that uh, is very typical of seeing some deep movement like that. Um, 125 miles for the uh, the depth of the four pointer in that region. Uh, USGS not showing anything here, but we did have some activity on the globe that you've seen up here around the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, looks like it was just outside of the uh, uh, Cyprus area. We'll check out the EMSC model here in just a little bit, but uh, looking at the rest of the USGS globe. Some, uh, or map, I should say, not a globe, right? At least not on this one. 24 miles, um, 24 mile deep, 5.2 in the South Sandwich Islands there. A little bit of movement kicking up there today. It's been relatively quiet throughout the Atlantic Ocean. One area that is kind of ramping up here in the world is the South America region here where we're seeing uh, some uh, earthquake activity kick up here over the last 24 hours, including a 5.0 um, around the Easter Island, well off the coast of Chile. But seen some further movement deep into the Peru Chile Trench and up here to the northern part, uh, uh, 70 mile deep, 4.5. Uh, let's see here, Puerto Rico. Of course, this is 2.5 and above. Let's go ahead and bring the all magnitudes in here. And it doesn't really make too much of a difference here, huh? Not a whole lot. A little bit of earthquake activity, southwest area of Puerto Rico. No major swarms to report. Uh, West Coast, uh, seems as though the button has still not been clicked far as, um, well, earthquake data for the Pacific Northwest. It's just not showing it. I was, was looking at uh, a couple seismograph stations here around the Redmond area, Washington, uh, checking out their recorded data. And this is the basically yesterday and today's events here up until the 24. Uh, our UTC time period. Definitely some earthquake activity ramping up. Some of these spikes here indicative of some earthquake activity around the Redmond, Washington area. This is a PNSN uh, network seismograph stations map. Here you can check uh, activity at the volcanoes and also just general seismograph stations throughout the region. Uh, it's going to check up here around the Oregon coast. Looking at a couple of these, some of these graphs are showing some microquakes. So in general, there's definitely some earthquake activity. Uh, that is kicking up throughout the Pacific Northwest. Nothing big that I can see, but um, definitely uh, not being reported there uh, from the Oregon and Washington regions. Uh, let's see here. This is some type of interference, it looks like. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity on that specific map there around Bandon. Um, was checking out a couple around Seattle, up here along the coast as well. Uh, pretty cool site to check out. I mean, it can't really... Um, you know, it's all public info here when it comes to the seismograph, so it's not like they can really hide anything with this recorded data. Uh, you know, sometimes they can fail to report the activity. Uh, let's see what we got here. Some activity, it looks like here uh, earlier in the day. Even then, uh, there's not, I'm not seeing a whole lot of movement, but I don't think it's just absolutely quiet into the Pacific Northwest. I think there's earthquake movement, uh, and they're just for whatever reason, uh, maybe they don't know, who knows? Maybe they don't realize that the activity has been absent on the map here for Washington and Oregon. I wanna check out the Canada map real quick, see if these folks are reporting anything throughout the Washington area, because sometimes they do, right? Sometimes they do show the areas of Washington, although this activity looks like it's from um, well over a week ago or so. So even these folks not showing any movement up into the Pacific Northwest uh, for Canada activity. Well, not a whole lot either into the North American continent. Uh, a little bit of movement up here 
from uh, a couple days ago. That was the last earthquake recorded up there, 1.4, on the 1st of April. So either it's super duper quiet, you know, for real, or they're, uh, you know, they're, I, I still think they're kind of just not reporting all the microquakes currently in the area. Uh, let's check out the tremor map here for uh, tonight's movement. Uh, still seeing 245 epicenters of tremor in the Cascadia subduction zone. A little decline uh, compared to about almost a week now of activity. And uh, most of that activity was in the latter half of a March. Where we've seen uh, a couple days there up around the thousand trimmer count. But today, only 245 epicenters of trimmer. Uh, in the Cascadia. So we'll see how this plays out. Volcanic uh, map here. We'll check out a couple volcanoes throughout the region and see if there's any uh, activity being reported because, well, they're not showing up on the map, that's for sure. So we got to check it ourselves. Some errors there. It looks like some adjustment issues. Yeah, definitely some earthquake activity. This is here throughout the day in the morning and a little bit of activity last night up here as well. See these spikes red spikes those are very small earthquakes very small but uh, some activity kicking up there at Mount St. Helens and see what else we can check out here for uh, for volcanoes check out Mount Rainier while we're on it I'm not going to go through all of these folks but we're going to see uh, if anything's being reported or not <laughs> see if things are happening and not being reported same issue there with that graph in the last couple hours uh, let's see here stand by for just a second get this thing to pop up maybe any day once again <clears throat> it's kind of taking a little odd time here so yeah we still have some activity here from yesterday this is the third, right? This is a uh, well. This is throughout the day today and this morning, and a little bit of activity from last night as well. So it's just because of that 24-hour uh, UTC time schedule here. So, but there is definitely activity kicking up here. Some earthquakes out at uh, Mount Rainier as well. Looks like a little bit more than the Mount Shasta area or the uh, Mount St. Helens area. Hopefully, I didn't say Mount Shasta. Mount Shasta. I don't believe we have too much uh, in the way of movement kicking up there. We'll check out one uh, one other area. We'll check out the Newberry Volcano. Of course, if you remember here, last month they had a little bit of swarming activity kick up here around the crater area of Newberry Volcano. And of course, I still cannot access the data around this area. Let me try, try a uh, different seismograph station. This one up here, hopefully, maybe. Let's see North Rim, Newberry, Oregon. Go back to the previous day, and uh, not a whole lot. Maybe a couple really super duper small ones right there. But uh, overall, that's that's about it. I don't see anything major taking place there at the uh, volcano there at Newberry. So it is what it is. We'll see if these guys, um, you know, put out the uh, any earthquakes tomorrow. Maybe they were updating their systems here in the Pacific Northwest. So we'll see. Uh, California West Coast movement up around Nevada as well and through the Ridgecrest region. Not looking at any major swarmings to report along the West Coast. Um, in fact, seriously, it looks just a little on the quiet side along the West Coast. New Mexico out here around the Rio Grande. Seeing a couple threes kick up here over the course of the day. 7.3 miles and 4.3 miles there along that area of New Mexico. Pecos, Texas has remained quiet. And some activity outside of El Reno um, with some uh, oil pumping operations out there. New Madrid zone looks pretty quiet. Man, I just uh, a little bit of activity out here in the Lohi Sea Mountain. You guys see that? Right here, looking at a little swarm of movement. Looks like about uh, seven earthquakes, all about five miles or so, seven miles below the surface. Very consistent there with. Uh, Volcanic activity 2.8 appears to be the highest in that little swarm of activity there Just off the coast last one was uh, looks like a couple hours ago So we'll see if this thing kicks back up or not, but uh, yeah, they get swarms it comes and goes 
This one here is just a little bitty one at the moment, but this thing could actually turn into a major swarm. You never know, Vulc uh, volcanic activity can definitely uh, kick up in a blink of an eye. Let's see what else we got. Not a whole, not a whole lot going on throughout the Alaska area. As far as any major events go, it's all very typical activity in the subduction zone up there, and uh, no major, re no major activity to report along the Aleutian Trench. There's the Taiwan activity. A couple earthquakes here northeast of Taiwan along the Philippine Plate, western edge, uh, around the East China Sea, and some movement down here south into the Philippines Trench. Philippine Trench. A couple fives there kicking up here. Although most of this activity earlier this morning and late last night, so kind of just on this, kind of on a standstill at the moment here uh, for earthquake activity. Uh, as far as any major adjustment goes, uh, Yellowstone National Park pretty quiet, not seeing any major swarms. One little earthquake over here, seeing that showing up on quite a few uh, seismograph stations here in the park. Showed up on Holmes Hill, Purple Mountain area, Mary Lake, all picking up that earthquake activity there within the last hour or so. Uh, I don't think USGS reporting on that. Let's see what they got for the all magnitudes. Nope, not a no reports there from the uh, Yellowstone area. Solar weather events. Uh, I think we're still looking at a uh, little bit of uh, greenery across the map here, across the charts when it comes to the uh, geomagnetic forecast. Geomagnetic forecast, a three-day. But uh, then again, that could always change here with these subsequent uh, filaments and CMEs that are been blasting off over the past couple days. We'll see if uh, things get cooking here. Um, looks like there is a uh, still required to determine if there will be an earth directed component from one of these filaments that kicked off. Um, but things look kind of, uh, looks like they're calming down a little bit can't say completely but the calming down a little bit compared to the very very active week uh, last week there on the Sun with the uh, X flare and uh, large M flare activity sunspot uh, kind of round in the bin right now the troublesome one is off the uh, off on the other side got uh, 2978 2981 kind of not looking all that uh, awesome in terms of producing a solar flare but we'll watch them in the coming days all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a good evening. And uh, what do we got here coming into Petrolia? See that little earthquake spike here on the uh, on the charts? I've been watching that. Uh, so we still get activity up there and it's not being reported. I might pull up, see if I can pull up a, a Washington or Oregon station here so we can monitor activity up in the region. Just uh, have a live seismograph here on the uh, live stream. But uh, all right, guys, I'm off here. Have a great night. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Monday, you dreaded M day tomorrow. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Have a good night. Peace out.